one of the, the negative effects of, of Typer when it's this dominant is that it completely um, dominates the other emergent and aquatic vegetation um, and provides very little opportunity for great crested newts to, to lay their eggs. Um, if we can remove the typha, hopefully we'll have um, a selection of other um, pond weeds come in and, and perhaps even um, some broadleaf pond weed which um, offer far greater opportunities. So this is the sluice. Um, it was built originally on a volunteer work party and is essentially a, um, a stack of drainage pipes which we used to bung with clay. It's fallen into a state of, of disrepair now and we can no longer get a good seal on it. Um, so we're going to rebuild with a more conventional drop board wooden sluice which will allow us to, to maintain water levels in summer. Really what we try to avoid here is excessive winter flooding and excessive winter wetness but we want to maintain open water throughout the drier seasons. Um, in previous years um, it's sadly dried out which is not great for the, for the dragonflies. So the last time you saw the pond in autumn it looked rather different. Since then we've been able to get in and clear all the typha, remove the island and install a new sluice on the far side of the pond. We've then had to reprofile the banks after the machinery has been in and while that may look quite drastic it will soon vegetate up in the spring and will create excellent conditions for basking reptiles and insects. You can see that the pond is fed by several um, ditches or small streams if you like and along those ditches we have placed several log jams. We've done that to slow the flow and to trap sediment and silt to prevent it from getting in the pond and reducing its quality for wildlife. Thanks Piver Award.